Here I have my Night Runner with IFS next to the Element Ecto with a straight axle. You can clearly see the IFS is much lower. Welcome back to the upgrade series on the Element Night Runner. In my first upgrade video, I upgraded the whole electronics by going with the Hobby Wing Quick Round Fusion 1800KB brushless system, 3 brushless G13 servo, and the Flysky FSA3 receiver so that I can use it with my Flysky GT5 transmitter radio. And while I had the transmission out, I installed Tim Kane case overdrive gears. In today's upgrade video, I'm going to tackle one of the biggest performance drawback of IFS, the low front end clearance, especially with the stock 1.5 inch wheels and the smaller 3.85 inch tires. Let me show you what I mean. Here I have my Night Runner with IFS next to the Element Ecto with a straight axle. You can clearly see the IFS is much lower. On my G-Speed IFS Trail Runner, I bypassed this weakness by using a taller 4.92 inch tires which helped to raise the front end. The problem with this approach is tire clearance. The Night Runner body isn't designed for such taller tires and I have to hack up the beautiful body to get the tire clearance which is not something that I plan to do. Good news is that the Night Custom has come up with a 3D printed IFS modification for those that plan to use the Class 0 tires, tires less than 4 inch tall, you will need to buy the 3D files for the lower chassis armor set by the Night Customs from my mini factory. So I'll be tackling that for today's upgrade. Basically the standoff mounts are much shorter than the stock and it raises up the front center differential by 13 millimeters, just a bit over half inches, giving you a lot more front end clearance. You will need to follow the following steps for the install. You will need to 1. Relocate the servo to the top of the chassis plate. Replace the front gearbox mount with the included standoff mounts. Flip the outer steering ball links to the opposite side of the steering hub. And adjust all steering links to the correct wheel direction. You also need to remove 5mm of the center front metal drive shaft and you will need to remove a section of the underside of the battery tray to clear the front center drive shaft.
Here's the Night Runner with the Night Customs lower chassis armor set installed. From the exterior, the stance didn't change, but from the front, you can clearly see the difference in the front and clearance before and after the modification. Hope you found the information helpful. Please like and subscribe, and make sure to hit the notification bell to be notified of future videos. Thanks for watching Vixen Hobbies.